Hello, I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. Today I'm joined by Bob Miller from the Hope Valley Football Club in Division 4, and he's going to do our weekly roundup. So we'll just go through some of the results from the weekend from Division 4. Uh, Eastern Park defeated North Haven by 75 points. Westminster Old Scholars got over Paraka by 27 points. Salisbury defeated Kenilworth by 47 points. Edwardstown had the bye, and Colonel Light Gardens defeated Hope Valley by 56 points. So obviously yeah. a bit disappointing there, <laughs> yeah, Bob. Mate, uh, yeah, not a not a good uh, not a good game yesterday. We were, yeah, we're in it till half time, and then um, yeah, we won a couple of couple of three goals in half time, and then yeah, I know that uh, the boys come out and uh, played some really good footy, and yeah, we just couldn't keep up with them. So, um, but yeah, we. Uh, we got a really young side, so uh, hopefully a learning curve, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll take it from there. So, but uh, yeah. So obviously, it sounds like it was a game of two halves. How did you yeah. see your first half compared to your second half? Yeah, definitely the first half was a lot better. Um, yeah, we're sort of changing the game style a bit from last year, or a fair bit from last year. So it was, it's going to take us a few weeks, and and, and obviously we've got a lot of young fellas coming into our side, and we've picked up a fair few young fellas. So. Yeah, it's going to take a while to uh, get them to gel and uh, play the way we want to play this year. So, yeah. Yeah, and just looking at those results from the weekend, who do you think are going to be the biggest challenges in Division Four this year? Yeah, well, I reckon Div Four is going to be really hard. Um, uh, Westminster, they'll they'll be able. We've got a, we've got them this week, but uh, Eastern Park, that, that was a little bit of a, oh, not a shock, but um, I didn't think they'd beat um, uh, North Haven by that much because uh, North Haven had a really good win the week before. Yep. Um, and then, um, oh, <laughs> buggers. Um, Salisbury. Yeah, Salisbury, yeah Salis Salisbury, they're always going to be hard. Yeah, um, so yeah, Salisbury, Kenilworth, uh, oh, not Kenilworth, Westminster, um, North Haven, and uh, Eastern Park, I reckon yeah, they're going to be good sides this year. So, yeah. And obviously, you got to win in round one, so it's not yep. all doom and gloom after the weekend. How did you see that performance compared to the weekend? Yeah, well, the. That was uh, we had a uh, sort of come behind game on the last weekend against Paraka, and um, yeah, so it was a little bit different to what we played this week, sort of thing. So yeah, yep. we was a couple of three goals down um, against Paraka, then end up winning in the last you know couple of minutes, sort of thing. So uh, yep. a bit of a turnaround, but uh, yeah, I reckon you know we'll just have to just keep person view of what we're doing and um, yeah, go from there. Yeah. Okay. We'll just look forward to this week's fixtures and just get an opinion yep. from you on each game. So North Haven take on Edwardstown at North Haven. Who do you think will win that one? Yeah, I reckon. Don't know much about Edwardstown, but uh, I reckon North Haven will probably get a win there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Paraka take on Kenilworth. Uh, I reckon Paraka will get over get over Kenilworth too. Yep. Yeah. Um, Paraka are a fairly good side, but uh, and uh, not real sure about Kenilworth at the moment. So, but uh, yeah, I reckon Paraka will get up there. Yeah, and Salisbury take on Eastern Park at Salisbury. Yeah, that, that'll be a cracker game, I reckon. Um, I'll, I'll go for home town, so, uh, home team Salisbury, I reckon. Yeah, that okay. one. Yeah. Uh, Colonel Light Gardens have the bye, and then you take on Westminster Old Scholars back yeah. at home. Yeah, this, that'll be a hard game as well for us. Um, hopefully, you know, hopefully the boys can come out and uh, perform really well, but. Uh, yeah, I'm saying with my heart, we'll have a win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. Thank you, Bob. I'm Todd Lewis from Fiasco Sports, reporting for the SA Football Magazine. I've been joined by Bob Miller from Hope, the Hope Valley Football Club, and he's done our weekly roundup for Division 4.